Hmm. Well, it smells like trash in here because finally, ATM. has come back to Harlan County, has come back to Kermit, Kentucky. Now along the lines, this video here is being published on October 8th of 2018. Just three days after my HDO album Obey Your Thoughts has come out. Just three days after Obey Your Thoughts has come out. But it's not about Honcho's A Studio album on October 8th, 2018. Right now, it is about Triple H, Danny Haley, Willie Stroker, and some other cat whose name I do not know, do not have any care one bit about. First, let me start off with you, Triple H. Triple H, you really think you impress ATM? You really think you impress? The man of the hour, you really think you impress the motor ATM with your little sayings of to the Undertaker. Hey Undertaker, you think you uh, think I have very little respect for you? Well guess what? The little respect that I have for you, Undertaker, ugh, I'm gonna put you down. I will put you down. You think you impress ATM with you saying to the Undertaker? I got Shawn Michaels in my corner, and this Sunday at WWE Showdown, the game Triple H will put you down. You don't impress ATM one bit. In a matter of fact, although you may have won the battle and the war, you have not won the world war. Because let me tell you something, Triple H. Even though you may have won the battle in war finally with the Undertaker, or you may not have won the battle in war with the Undertaker, now you got to deal with Poncho himself. You got to deal with Poncho, and the only reason why that you have not come face to face with Poncho and A Team, the only reason why you have not come face to face with either one of us. Is because I have allowed it. I've allowed you to escape, but there will be no more escaping because somewhere down the road, somewhere down the road, ATM will come and find you, Triple H, and he will get you. And if I don't get you, and if I don't get you for a split second, then and only then will Pacho, Pacho himself will get you. But enough about you Triple H, now let's go on to Danny Haley. Danny Haley, you really think you impress ATM with your fake death, with your fake death on that fire? You really think you impress ATM with the death faking of fire? Let me tell you something Danny Haley, even though there's a lot of people that fake this, you will not face ATM. You will not fake your own death when it comes to facing ATM. Because if any news for you, this time when you come face to face with ATM, you will not. And ATM means, ATM means you will not get back up. But enough about you, Danny Haley. Now let's go on to Willie Stroker. A man named Willie Stroker? You got to be kidding me. Willie Stroker? You think you impress ATM with that name? Chances are, man, you probably out here stroking around your style or whatever. You're probably stroking it around right now for the whole world to see. Man, don't nobody want to see that. This is a rated PG show, man. We can't be going around here having last names, strokers and wokers and chokers and jokers and all bunch of yin yang stuff. This is a PG show, man. Have some class. Have some dignity. Change your name from Willie Stroker to Willie Broker because you are broke as crap and you're nothing more than a joke. And the last person that I want to address is that man who is. 
The man who is... It doesn't matter about the last man's name because the fact of the matter is anytime you, Triple H, Danny Haley, Willie Stroker, and the other guy's name that I don't... Who cares or whoever I, his name is. It doesn't matter because ATM is coming out and ATM will not stop. And this time, ATM will not allow you to survive and you will not be allowed to pass kindergarten you will not be allowed to pass high school for that matter oh yes yeah, speaking of that there is one more person no 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 make it two more people the first person be whizzle be whizzle if you're out there somewhere man you remember the last time you went the last time me and you went face to face you betrayed it, ATM the last time we went face to face, you betrayed it, ATM's trust. And let me tell you something, B-Wizzle. You may have retired six years ago, but I guarantee you if you come out of retirement, you will be knocked into retirement faster than a hiccup. And there's one other man that is close friends with Poncho. And that is Poncho and DJ Blazin's friend, Stephen under Dog Coots. Stephen Coots. The last time me and you went face to face, Stephen Coots, you broke my arm. You broke my arm that took me off the shelf for nearly months and months. Maybe it's on account of where I hit you with the candlestick back in 2012. But how are you going to break this man's arm? I'll tell you something. Steve-O, you, Poncho, DJ Blazin, B-Wizzle, anytime y'all four want to face ATM, and especially you, Poncho, and especially you want to face ATM, bring your skinny, no, you're, you can't, you're not skinny anymore because you've worked out and you've gained some pounds over the years, so I can't call you skinny anymore. But anytime you want to bring your caramel brown sugar no good left behind to ATM's house, anytime you, Steve-O, Willie Stroker, Danny Haley, Triple H, B-Wizzle, and the uh, other guy's name who I can't remember what his name is but is starting to make me mad as ever, anytime you all want to come at ATM, you can come face to face with ATM and you better believe your bottom dollar, you bet your bottom dollar that. What's good, Jolie? Man, just got done doing this promo ATM, man. Doing good, doing good. Hang in there, hang in there. Mr. 24-7, Jared, what's up? Hey, John Lee, WWE. Hashtag that, man. Hashtag ATM in the WWE. That's got to be a hashtag. Jesse, Jesse. Yes, in that video, I did call myself out on that video. By the way, Jesse. Me and you, that single two years ago, it's got to go down, man. It's got to go down soon, bruh. That's so not actually the video, but it's a song that we that I wrote and handed you that piece of paper nearly two years ago. That song has to go down soon, bruh. But hey, good success from me, Jesse, man. Good success for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>